1996, Williams released Williams Arcade Greatest Hits for the Super Nintendo and the Sony PlayStation. Now, before getting to the review of the game, I'd like to say a quick thank you to all my subscribers. I've recently reached 2,000 subscribers. And I couldn't have done it without you, the viewer. So, thank you. Anyhow, this is a compilation cartridge that has five Williams Arcade Classic games on it. And I must admit, they are five classic, classic arcade games, and I, I suck more or less at each and every one of them. Back in the day, and still today, I, I'm still pretty bad at all these games. You see that? Not only did I kill the human, I also killed myself. That's how bad I am at Defender. So the first game we're looking at is more or less a pretty true to the arcade version of Defender. And in my opinion, one of the main reasons to purchase this game for the Super Nintendo. Next we'll look at Defender 2. Also a pretty solid game, although not as popular as the original Defender. Now this version of Defender 2 is actually uh, quite on par with the arcade. The Nintendo NES version does take a few liberties with the game, but this game is more or less the pure arcade version. And yes, I do suck at this game as well. Next, we'll take a look at Joust. Now, this game is a classic arcade game that I hated playing in the arcades. For whatever reason, I just was never a Joust fan. But it's still a classic, pretty solid game. The main appeal of Joust in the arcades when it first came out was that it had a fairly decent physics engine. And it had things like accurate gravity. Now that may not sound like much, but in the early 80s, that's about all you needed for a gimmick to have a pretty decent game. Now in Joust you have one button, and that's to flap your ostrich's wings. At least I think it's an ostrich. And you're goal is to collide with the enemies uh, where your lance is just above their lance. If it's below their lance, then you die. If it's above their lance, they die. That's about it. And I suck at Joust too. Let's move on to Robotron 2084. Now this is a true arcade classic, uh, much reminiscent of the game Berserk. But the gimmick in the arcade version of Robotron was that it had two joysticks and no buttons. One joystick controlled the movement of your character, the second joystick controlled the direction your gun was firing, and your gun was continuously firing. Now, although this is a fairly decent and accurate representation of the arcade game, it uh, does not have the actual two arcade sticks, like the arcade model you're stuck using this Super Nintendo controller. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it loses something without the feel of two arcade sticks. And yes, I'm fairly horrible at Robotron. Let's take a look at the last game on the compilation, Sinistar. It's a game I had never actually heard of until I played it on this cartridge. Okay, it took me a little bit to figure out what's going on here, but you control a spaceship, and it's sort of like an Asteroids clone, but not really, because the Asteroids don't hurt you. I couldn't quite figure out what did hurt you. I just flew around trying to avoid everything at first, and then I realized that when stuff hits you, it doesn't kill you. So it's a, it's a very strange concept. There are a few things that can kill you in this game, but they seem to be restricted to um, enemy missiles. And I don't see any enemies at first, that fire anything. So, I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking when they made this game. It almost has the feel of an unfinished game. Like, they started with some kind of game engine with this asteroid-type uh, setup and said, let's just, like, tool around with this and come up with a concept for a game. But let's, like, turn everything off so nothing can hurt you. And they never, like, picked it up after that. So it just, it feels unfinished. I don't know, that's my opinion. 
Anyhow, Williams Arcade's Greatest Hits is a pretty cool compilation SNES game. I recommend picking it up if you're a fan of Defender or Defender 2 or Joust. Or Robotron. I don't think anybody's a fan of Sinistar. I'm Dami from Classic Games Revisited. Until next time.